preparing to live stream the meeting. We're live. We're going. I see, see the it? little red dot. We're live. Fucking going. I, I have no it. idea if we really are, but we probably are. And I'm just going to say welcome to the live extravaganza shenanigans. I'm going to make a full out of myself. Yeah. Thank you. Boom. Boom. All Boom. Right. There it is. Um, I'm just going to refresh here. To see if we're actually are live. I don't see it yet. <laughs> Somebody said hi. Michael Lopez really? says hi. So yeah. What the hell? Skywolf says hi, guys. Oh, there it is. What's How's happening? How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Friday the 13th live, our first live shenanigans. Welcome, 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 Sean. Welcome. There you go. Here we are. Hope everybody's got their pizza and ours is coming. You know, so yeah, Sean's is on the way. He just uh, he ordered it. Mine has yet to be ordered. Mine will show up in the probably just as we're ending this whole thing. As I'm but, finishing mine. Exactly. But welcome, everybody. Happy Friday the 13th. Twitch the horror kids on there, too. Hey, what's up? Everybody's here. Holy shit. We're getting bombarded by stuff. Oh, this is a lot, guys. Seven Sin oh. Studios, too. Hey, what's up? So, you know what? So, oh, hey, man. Last night, you know, somebody was talking about that super chat thing. So I went and I installed it. Mm -hmm. So if somebody wants to try it out, we will definitely answer every super chat question Absolutely. and read it. Uh, so. We'll see Pittsburgh's how in the Pittsburgh's in the house and they have the Monroeville mall where I used to get all my, my school clothes every summer at the end Husky. of summer, I used to go to the Monroeville mall to the Sears and I used to shop in the Husky section, mm -hmm. in the Monroeville mall and got my school clothes for the year. So what's up the Berg? Yep. I know her. She, she came <laughs> to, it's Kelly Sue. Uh, she came to, uh, she came to the last, was it the last Monroeville Mall thing? The the Living Dead weekend? I met her mm -hmm. there. And then she came uh, to Steel City Comic Con when Sean Patrick Flannery was there because she is a Flannery nut. Mm. Tony Floyd's got some Dairy Queen. Ooh, I'm jealous. Ooh. And I'm thank jealous. you, Patrick, for letting us know that everything is looking good. Oh, Anthony. Quit. Anthony Landry busts a cherry. How about that? the fuck How about anthony that anthony Jesus. Landry in the house and can yes, i get an a can i get an n can i get a t can... i'm not gonna spell the whole name but you know what i'm talking about <laughs> all right wow do i oh. do you like cash um yes oh and, and blood red skies ever been to dylan dog horror fest well oh, well you have to answer the first question Jesus. about anthony do you like cash chris i do like cash i there do like hot buttery cash in my yeah. hands i love it hmm. yes yeah. yes um have you ever been to dylan dog horror fest i never have no i haven't either i've heard about it mm -hmm. um where is it uh blood red skies whatever what is your name if you want to reveal your real name um but uh never never been i don't know where it is hmm. is it a film festival or is it a convention I think it's more of a film festival or I would, it would be more on my radar. Mm. Larry DeVince in the house. That's my I'm man gonna, right there. Can I jump in real quick? Yeah. Daniel, Daniel, is it Daniel Crusoe? Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Got the haunted mansion plaques. I love them. This is awesome. I'm still trying to figure out where to put it up in my house, but I'm going to find a super sweet place. So thank you, buddy. Appreciate Shit. it. Mike Johnson, the runner throwing down 499 too what yeah what yeah what what are what, you guys doing Florida. Florida. <laughs> whoa you, what <laughs> gabriel our gabriel you Florida. know what Holy you guys shit. don't be right, spending so your money here's what, our sorry here's what we're gonna have to do we're no this is what i'm gonna this is what i'm gonna do for every this is this is how it's gonna go down since nobody fucking did our kiss makeup contest I'm going to keep track of everybody who, who contributes tonight and we're going to have a drawing and yeah. we're going to, we're going to give away one, one of this pumpkin right here, the thing with two heads, pumpkin, 
Yeah. And Chris and I will sign it if you want us to. Blood sure. Red Skies, two bucks. Another right on. Jesus. Um, and we are uh, we are going to do a raffle, and we're going to throw in some other goodies too for the winner. Of so, if you do make a contribution, geez, look at Skywolf Kelly Sue's contributing ten bucks. Got Blood Red Skies through another two bucks. It was from '90s first. They premiered Hellraiser three. Is is it not happening anymore? Is is that is that uh, what's good, Fon Fonzo? <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> Um, we're good guys. We're so we will good. do a raffle. We'll do the raffle on on the show. Yeah, yeah. And keep that, a keep keep a be patient with us because this is a this is fairly overwhelming. Neither yeah, of us have done bet. this before, so yeah. it's a little overwhelming. So bear with us. Be patient. We got you, Daniel. We got we, you, Daniel. Uh, oh no, Andrew's asking me that I make all these excellent masks. I did make some of them and i didn't make others others are made from very talented makeup effects friends of mine so uh tony floyd you guys come on man really tony floyd it's got a death curse sawyer smoke hell yeah dude sawyer smoke in the house jesus dude 4.99 i'm gonna buy a new pair of underwear can i Vander tell a story can i tell a quick story about it's got a death curse that's okay same? Okay, I'm gonna gotta, I gotta give a shout out oh. to Vanderhoff six six F U. Hello, Sean. I met you four times, two, two in, in LA and LA. two in New Jersey. Is that Dave Vanderhoff? I I remember a a, a Orange Grove video guy. Is that who that is? Blood Red Skies says he thinks it's discontinued. Old Horror Fest. Anyway, go mm -hmm. ahead, Chris. We're we're gonna try to. Oh no, we're gonna no, try it's to. A, keep it's track. a boring story. I was just gonna go on a story, a really annoying story about. I when I was in Atlanta working on Guardians of the Galaxy, two, I went to the Friday Thirteenth. This is Friday Thirteenth. I went to the Friday Thirteenth Part Six camp, which is outside of Atlanta, in Georgia. And yeah. It was awesome. And all I kept saying in the car with a couple of people from the crew that were with me. All I kept saying was, it's got a death curse. And they and they they got so annoyed with me that at one point I said, it's got a death curse. And and there was a girl in the car. She goes, could you seriously please stop saying that? You're annoying the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that was awesome. And they were probably just like, bro, you know, it's not even in part six. So why are you saying that? I know, but it's got a death curse. A little tidbit um, mm -hmm. for the three people who may have seen my movie, The Black Waters of Echo's Pond. Right. Um, I actually threw that line in the movie. I have James Duvall say, it's got a death curse. He does oh, say that at one nice. point. little nod to Friday. There you go. Um, Thanks, so Mike Johnson. Chris wants you to uh, turn the light on in your pumpkin head. Oh, oh, and that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I could do that. I'd have to. I'd have to bolt and get some batteries for a flashlight and stick it on. There's no light in it right now. Nah. But I could do that if you want me if, to. If he contributes and says do it, then you have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I I can do that. Um, but Sean's gonna have to. Sean's gonna have to take over the show. For God knows, I'm not good at talking. Uh, Russell uh, Wagus. Uh, he he's the guy who uh, sent the, sent us these. And I gave you your your set, Chris. Chris. Yes. Oh yes, I have it right here. Yeah. Hold on. Got it right here, guys. I got it. Right Ooh, there. look at that! Halloween three trading cards. They're badass. These are badass, and I love the little clear case, and I love the whole thing. I got Absolutely. so much stuff, and you guys are so generous, and, and we really appreciate that. You don't have to do that because Mike jo Mike Johnson. You live amazing. Mike lives. Johnson keeps throwing down. Dude, what's with the 499, Whoa. bro? Bro. Yeah. Mike. I, I, Thanks. You, yeah, you are you already sent it, bro. Calm down. Yeah, you, man. You're our boy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thanks at 099. Thank you. It is a sick mask, isn't it? You like that shit? I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you guys a treat right now. Hold oh on. no, here, here we go. go. Here we go. I'm gonna give you a treat. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, buddy. Look at that. You like that shit? 
Jerry. To... <laughs> you know right. you like that shit, don't you? You know you like that shit, don't you guys? Uh, there you go. I did that. That just uh-huh. happened. That shit just happened. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Sean and Christopher, what Jason do you prefer in the Friday Thirteenth movies? Potato sack or hockey mask? Apparently, you've never seen our show because yeah, he, yeah, we've 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 talked about this quite thorough, thoroughly, Jonathan. That sackhead Jason is our yeah. favorite Jason. Yeah, Sean and I both agree that sackhead Jason is the best Jason. Two middle at middle aged men agree. Sackhead Jason satisfies satisfies <laughs> that's greater than yeah you because know, it's a sack. Two out of three middle aged men agree. Sackhead yeah, Sackhead Jason is the best. Uh, the classically deceased. Thank you so much for you guys for doing a live. Hey, our pleasure. Thank you guys for tuning in and people that are contributing to the super chat. It's, it's like out of control. I was hope I was like, if I, if we make five dollars tonight, I'll be happy. You know, not oh, that crazy. not that we're doing this to make money, but you no, know, we're not. You guys, I just, you don't have to do that. Save your money for fucking Christmas, for God's sake, or don't, because or don't, because all this money's <laughs> all this money's going to that guy. By the way, who's that guy? You're on you. my screen. You're pointing in the wrong direction. Going to that guy. By the way. It, it, no, it, actually, it will. It will contribute to the show and our channel, and it will. Yeah. It's going to go right back to you guys. Trust yeah. us, it will. Yeah. Oh, whoa, Anthony, Jesus, Chris, have you ever had a concept for what your vision of Jason would look like? If so, Ooh. have you ever put it down on paper or actually molded one? Yes, I have a very strong concept of what Jason would look like if I did it. Have I put it on paper? I did do a design of it. I'm certainly not going to show it. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I have a very strong vision. I would love an attempt to do uh, Jason Voorhees uh, because I, I mean, aside from what we all know and love from the original Friday 13th uh, and part two, I love the way it looked in part two. Carl Fullerton did a great job. I would love a shot at it because I think it's, it would be super badass. We're getting so many comments, so I'm going to stop talking. So sorry. <laughs> um, I'm trying to get through. Let's see. I'm looking at these here. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, my God. You guys, right. you're so nice. So Thank you, Kevin. Let's see. Where's the Pop-Tarts? We're getting pizza, man. Yeah, we're getting pizza. Yeah. Oh, somebody stayed up to 2 a.m. He must be in the UK or something. Rock. What is that? Rock. What does it say? I lost it. I had it. Amir de Rock. (laughs) (laughs) Amir de Rock. How do you know that name? How do I know it? Yeah. We used to have in the it came when I worked at KMB. I, I walked into the shop one morning. It was the sculptor's aquarium. We were we were shoved in this little room that had like a clear window. We called it the sculptor's aquarium. And mm-hmm. then I walk into my best friend at the time, Scott Patton, <clears throat> who's an amazing artist. He does a lot of digital design for Stan, uh, Legacy, which formerly Stan Winston's company right now. Mm-hmm. He's an amazing guy. He was my best friend. And, and I walk into the shop one morning and he goes, hey, Chris, take a look at take a look at the window. And on the window, he had a picture, a tear out of a magazine of this guy holding a guitar, you know, like a guitar ad. And he goes, and I'm like, all right, who's that guy? And he goes, read the name. And I go, I'm looking at it. And I'm like, Amir, Amir D-Rock, Amir D-Rock. And I go, Amir D-Rock. And I look at him and he goes, (laughs) Well, you and know, I'm like Amir to Rock. That's the guy's name. Oh my god! So it was great. Anyway. I know him. Do you really? Yeah. You know Amir to Rock? Yeah. He's remember when you came to my little Halloween party, Ryan from Orgy that was sitting. You know the yeah the guitar yeah. player. Yeah. Amir to Rock is the other guitar player in Orgy, <laughs> and he's also in his other band, Julian K. And I guarantee you, the picture you saw was probably from his '80s band, Rough Cut. Yes, it was from Rough Cut. When he had the hair and everything. So Ace anyway. Haney. Dude, really? Thanks, buddy. Well, I see that Halloween movie collector also contributed. Thank you. 
Thank you, buddy. Uh, Kevin guys, Wrightson, happy Friday 13th to you as well. Just so you know, you guys, um, there might be a delay. So if we if we are getting to your stuff late or it's not reg yeah, there is a delay with all this stuff. So, well, so again, be patient and bear with us. My boy Ace, I know Ace. Good to see you, buddy. Ace Haney, Friday 13th oh, rocks. Oh, it does rock. I hope the bar is uh is still doing well. Um, let's see, boy, I'm trying to see, uh, trying to see some of these. Oh, oh yeah. Anthony Landry, F the fluffer nutters. Okay. I got to let you know, I had one, I made one, not yeah. doing that again. No, that was, that was, I mean, I think I might be diabetic now after that one <laughs> I mean, and I like sweets. That was pretty intense, man. And I love mm. peanut, but, but the thing is, it's funny is like the peanut butter overtakes the taste over takes the taste of the marshmallow but yeah. then there's just the sweet sugar. and sugar and sugar, yeah. yeah jesus yeah. i think i was up all night yeah <clears throat> uh jonathan did i ever get a bon me sandwich no i never did but i get a lot of messages of people asking me about bon me sandwiches anytime bon me sandwiches comes up i get a message which is kind of nice that's kind of cool you're gonna go down. You're gonna be remembered forever as the bond me sandwich guy. I guess so. I, was, I never thought that would go that far. That was all, <laughs> all improvised stuff, man. You guys are amazing, man. With with all this chiming in, there's a lot of oh. people here hanging out with us. Hey, I have a question for everybody out there. All you guys, stop typing for a second, for crying out loud. Stop. Did everybody out there order a pizza? Do you guys have pizza or are you eating pizza or pop tarts or something? What are you doing out there? So now Stop you're asking them a question. I'm answer. I'm asking them questions. Yeah, well now Michael they're going to type. They're going to all type about you know did they get a pizza or something? Michael Lopez, right on. Hello, Thanks, sir. Thanks, buddy. Four ninety nine. Um, eighties monster nice kid wanted to know if I was stuck on an island and I had to pick one movie if it would be Halloween or Clockwork Orange. Sorry, Clockwork Orange. <laughs> I mean, if I'm stuck on an island, I got to watch the same thing forever. I'd yeah. probably rather watch Clockwork Orange. It's like it's an hour longer. There's a lot more going on there. Uh, but, you know, sorry. Sorry to disappoint. Sen Sen Studio says I can't. It's 2 a.m. He's going to bed. We're boring him. Uh, well, I, 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 right. I just noticed that uh, the, the guy that said it was 2 a.m. Um, where was it? Skate. It was uh, a guy I know in the U.K., where is it? Uh, I lost it. Now I'm trying to find it. Uh, Daniel Caruso with another 499. What? Rock, Rock Skate Boy, Mark Curzon. Thanks man. for staying up, buddy. Daniel Caruso. Come on, dude. I know, man. Fuck you. Yeah, look, he's a fuck you of the heart. <laughs> JD's getting Dino's. He's in the he's in the hood. JD, JD Bowers is in the hood because Dino's, I order from Dino's all the time. He must be in the hood, man. Cause he's getting some Dino's you get the lasagna pizza. Cause that shit is good, man. From Dino's I've eaten Dino's I'm nowhere near Dino's, but I've no, eaten yeah. there. It's good stuff though. Yeah. You guys with all these questions, Holy shit, guys. Um, Mike Johnson sinking a cold one. That's not, that? you got, remember you got to <laughs> run, bro. You got to, you got to stay mean? in running shape, bro. Sinking a cold one. Yeah. That's really sexual. Yeah. It is a little, isn't it? I'm sinking a cold one. G oh, Gabe K O K L A. The uh, that's the Chainsaw Two radio station. Because of Chris, when I watch H eighteen, I enjoy a little Debbie Brownie and chocolate pudding. That's what I'm talking about. It was <laughs> funny. Here's a little inside story. David, or no, the props guy came up to me and said. Chris, David wants to know what you want in this Tupperware for this scene, because that whole scene was improvised. So he said, he wants to know what you want in the scene. And I thought I was like, give me a chocolate brownie and chocolate pudding, because I thought it would be funny if it was just 12 year old chocolate stuff in it. And he goes, OK, he goes, are you sure? I was like, yeah, because I had to eat that for hours. I had to eat all that shit for hours. And I almost got diabetes <laughs> from just that scene. But uh, that was all improv, man, and uh, wow. and super fun. Yeah. A uh, better transformation, werewolf transformation, American Werewolf for the Howling. Ooh. I'm, going, I'm going American Werewolf. Ooh, 
That's a tough one, man. America, I love the howling. Sure. I love the howling. It, the howling transformation takes 20 minutes. I, if you ever watch my Horrors Hollow Grounds episode, I kind of I goof on it because I, it, I, it goes so long. You know, oh, I could. You want to get into this? You want to get into this whole thing? Don't need to. I'm right. I don't know, man. Who won the Academy um, Award? Boom. That the baker shit. They gave me one, dude. That, that's <laughs> not a fucking. That's not an argument. <laughs> the Howling, not even nominated. Boom. Have you ever been? Yeah, to- they gave me one. It doesn't matter. The Howling is fucking amazing, dude. I love the Howling. The werewolves in the Howling are fucking badass. You, Eugene Nix from Eugene's Pop Madness wants to know what the story is with my poltergeist clown wearing the pink and white costume rather than the blue and white. Also, have you heard of any companies making a replica? Um, go. The, and the, go. The story is the pink and white costume is the blue and white costume. It faded. All the, all the blue on the costume turned pink and there's only two dolls known to exist. The other one has been in the hard rock, um, uh, not the hard rock, excuse me, planet Hollywood in Vegas for several decades. And it actually just sold at auction yesterday for 60,000 plus 28% and taxes about, so it ended up being about 80,000. Um, and it's exactly like mine, pink and white. Uh, I've seen replicas, but not a, not one that I think's good. I've seen okay ones. There you go. There you go. We're getting a lot of questions. I know. I'm, I'm trying so much so we can't even keep up with this shit, guys. And you, I'm and, sorry. And, 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 here, and the funny part is, Chris really wanted to like. We should have topics ready. It's like there's no, <laughs> we never get to them. What are you talking about? We're answering all these. Questions. I know. I was texting Sean today. I was like, we should really come up with some topics to talk about because we're going to be. Boring as fuck, but uh, uh, wow, you guys. Let's answer some of these. Here we go. You go for it. Um, Twitch the Horror Kids here. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Um, We got... uh, Thank you. Is an X-rated snowman joke. Thanks, Adam Gray, for the compliment. Appreciate that, buddy. Get ready to make my first horror film called No October Harvest of the Scare Bear. Scare Bear. That's very cute. Um, let's see. What are you guys' thoughts on the Tots one sixth Michael Myers figure? I haven't been liking the pictures I've been seeing of the ones people have been getting. I got to be honest. I'm right there with you. I mean, the, the prototypes look great. Jessica yeah. J, favorite pizza topping? Sean, go. Pepperoni. Pepperoni, same here. Uh, how many? I hope everyone said thank you, Mr. Zomb. Daniel Caruso, did you guys see the Lego Halloween video? Yes, I did, and I enjoyed it. I laughed heartily. And and he's asked, he's mentioning, I watched Sean brush his teeth while Eddie changed. That was yeah. my bit in Horse Hollow Grounds because oh. he takes forever. I left, yeah. I went home, brushed my teeth. He's still transforming. I was what I was saying, get go. the hell out of there, run. Uh, Reefer Rubin wants to know, should they make uh, Alien Awakening? Sure, why the fuck not if it's going to make money? Um, are you guys fans of Hor- Fangory Magazine? Yes. I I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't bought an issue since probably the 90s, but yeah. Um, we have uh, sent you mailing addresses. Sean will give you that. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, is the most blood you ever in a movie Dead Alive Lama were seen? Uh, no, Don Harrison. Uh, Kill Bill, we used 450 gallons of blood. I shit you not. TCE author just contributed five bucks. Said, any love for the Monster Squad? I love, yeah. Mon- I love Monster Squad. I just watched the uh, Wolfman Has Nards documentary the other day, finally. Really good. Yeah. yeah really good, good. doc. Yeah. I was I was a little disappointed that they kind of glazed over a few people. Like, notice they they talk about every kid except for Robbie Kiger. Mm. Uh, that for some reason, I mean, I know why is that? I I I have my theories, but um, he's had issues. But mm. I mean, he's he's a I know him. Mm. Um, 
I, I just don't know why they acted. They never mentioned him. I don't think he's mentioned once in the entire documentary, but mm. there's, you see him in the movie, mm. but mm-hmm. whatever. Interesting. Yeah. Um, we got, how do we feel about silver bullet? I love silver bullet, Zach. You know, I haven't seen it in forever. I, I've got the Scream Factory Blu-ray, um, mm-hmm. but I, I've been meaning to to pop it back in. Yeah, I love it. I think it's great. Chris, um, favorite junk yes. food, go. Favorite junk food? Yeah, and P- Angel P- Lopez. What Pizza. Is, that, that's not really junk food. That's a that's a dinner. Ooh, speaking of which. <laughs> it's kind of junk food. Oh, fuck off. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can oh, you give me man. some... Uh, Paper towels when you have a chance. Thank you, significant oh. other. What'd you get on it? What'd you order? I got it? tomato and pepperoni. Lovely. I usually get more toppings, but this pizza, thank you. This pizza place over over by our house that's really good is kind of weird with their toppings. They don't carry a lot of traditional toppings. They don't have green peppers. I like green peppers. They don't they don't use green peppers. DC anyway. author, any luck for Monster Squad? We did that. Hey, Christopher, yeah. have you any get off my lawn moments, lady? Dude, Jonathan, I have I have them <laughs> daily, all day. That's my whole life is made up of get off my lawn moments. That's that's all I did. Uh, Chris, do we get a full shot of the flashback mask in Halloween Kills? Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> you ready? Are you ready, ready, guys? There it is. Flashback mask of Halloween. No, I'm just kidding. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. This is a tots mask that somebody uh, rehauled for me, which was very nice and very sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, that Sean got signed by Nick Castle, by the way. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, good buddy, my good pal, Sean. This is not the flashback. I don't know what you're referring to as far as the flashback mask. I, I, I don't I, mean. I have no idea what you're talking uh, about. I can answer that actually, Chris. Go ahead. Hmm. Okay. No, I'm chewing. And this is oh, from it, Trans Transmit Transam Trav. Transam Trav 14. Okay, well, here's here you want to know what the flashback about? mask looks like. Okay, so you saw the Halloween 2, right? 1981's Halloween 2. Remember the flashback mask in that? It it looks the same because it's the flashback mask. So the mask from the first movie that you're seeing a flashback of looks mm-hmm. just like it did in the first movie. That's what a flashback mask would look like. There you go. Mm. Mm. There you go. Boom. Um, Ace Haney wants to know, not to be a downer, but I'm hearing nationwide shutdown again. Your thoughts? You know, this was something that we, Sean and I talked yeah. about earlier. Um, my thoughts are, shut it the fuck down, man. Everyone stay home. Wear a mask and stay the Christ home. Let's get over this already. I understand everyone wants to be out there and I understand everyone wants to be getting on with their lives, but enough already. Come on, guys. Just chill, man. It's a generational thing. Our generation, Generation X, has absolutely no problem being left alone to our (laughs) own devices because that's how we were raised. (laughs) We were left alone to our own devices and we had to take care of ourselves. Okay? So... Guys, just stay home and chill out, man. And I'm not thrilled with it, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, I'm going to keep trying to scroll through here. and um, We got another contribution from Darren TSL. Said, this have is... either of you seen Possessor? My top film of the year. <clears throat> if you haven't, make sure it's the uncut version. I just saw it two nights ago. Oh, is and... this the Cronenberg uh, kid? Yeah. Um, Brandon Cronenberg. Mm -hmm. Um, it's slow. Uh, I, I liked it, but it's a little, it's a little, I I, I don't share your, your, your passion, Darren. I appreciate it. Um, I liked a lot of stuff in it, thought it had some great imagery, but I thought it, it it didn't really do a whole lot for me. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Chris? I haven't seen it yet. I actually want to see it. Yeah. I do want to see it. Um, Anthony Before Landry for five bucks said, have you guys thought about making these YouTube episodes available in audio only formats, iTunes and Spotify? Yes, Done. I've thought about it. Yeah. But I'm a little lazy. If somebody wants to help me 
like talk me through it. I'll listen <laughs> to you. But I've just been, I mean, my biggest fear is that, um, uh, you know, we seem to have a lot of sound issues on episodes. I'm really, I'm kind of worried that doing an audio only thing would be not so pleasant. I don't know. I bet you, I bet you it wouldn't be as bad as you think it is. You're, Maybe. you're a, you're a nitpicker about that kind of shit. It's got to be perfect. And that's why, that's why we're pals. But because I like that. I love that about you. You're a giant pain in the ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, and so am I. But that's that's okay. Yeah, you're miserable. You're miserable. I am. I'm miserable. Fuck. Yeah. Um, just watched Return of the Living Dead three last month for the first time. Chris, what gags did you do for this movie? I did the whole opening scene with the crazy big skinny yellow zombie at the beginning that they bring back to life, and then he kills Anthony Hickox, director Anthony Hickox, and bashes his head and then i did a bunch of little gags sprinkled throughout the movie but that that's what i did for that movie and that came from wait mr zomb so i just want to make sure we get a shout out we got a kiss thing sean yeah, yeah. and I guess it's all for you from. demon oh yeah let me do that again it's all for you demon oh yeah <laughs> Chris, Kiss 74, you won from the radio contest as a kid. Was Kissing Time on it, or was it a later pressing Take Care? Ooh. Dude, I don't know. You don't still have it? That album? Oh, hell no. I mean, I have that album. I don't have that actual oh. album from that I won. Uh, that It's a long story. I'm not going to get into it. It's tragic. Mm. Let's not talk about it. I'd rather not. I, I have that. I don't version. want to cry in front of everybody. Of course, I have that version. I even have the the super rare version that has <clears> uh, <throat> a promo sticker on it. Oh wait, no, not a promo sticker. It has a hype sticker um, showing "Kissing Time," but it's not actually on the record. It's it's a weird. It was a weird like transition uh, version that John Five keeps trying to get me to sell to him. But anyway. <laughs> I think Titan Cat told us to shut up. Who? Titan Cat. Um, let's get okay. into this. Titan right. Cat told us to shut up. Said shut up. Shut up. the freak up now. I'm so mad. Who who are you talking to, Titan Cat? Talking to us. <laughs> Imagine a world where you go to a YouTube page and you can't you just can't get out of it. And you're just like, shut up, person talking. You can get out of it. He, there's, he's trapped. There's no way. Get out of here, dog. My dogs are like bugging. You should just edit them down in the interviews for the audio podcast. Calm down. Rich doesn't want to hear us talking. He just wants to hear the... the, the uh, Now we're getting some... Now we're getting nasty in, this, in the room. This is oh, really? awesome. Yeah, Where? let's do this. Where? I'm not saying it. Let's do this. Come on. You guys want to go? Let's go, man. <laughs> Titan Cat said N-O. I don't know what... I see N-O. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we're reading this wrong. I could be I, reading Who this knows? Wrong. Um, the Classically Deceased said, Hey, Sean, I'm a huge fan of Killer Clowns and loved your collection complete videos on Jammer. Can you tell us how you got the <clears throat> clown heads of Rudy and, Bil and Bibbo? Uh, short story, a bottom. Um, let's see. I think... Man, that's funny. As I now, I can't remember. I don't think I got either of them in auction. I think I got both from private collectors. So I know one was a guy. The Bibbo was a guy who worked on the film, who had had it since the movie, and it was in pretty rough shape. And I sent it to Tom Spina to give it a a, a rehaul, so to speak. Um, and the person who had Rudy prior to me owning it had also sent it to Tom to fix. So both of them have been um, restored by Tom. There you go. <clears throat> Christina Healy. There's a girl in the house. Probably the only one. <laughs> Hi, Christina. Gabe, Gabe um, K. O Okla. K-O-K-K-Cola. K -O, I don't know how you pronounce that. The From Chainsaw 2. He, he, he contributed and said, Sean, whatever happened to SSN, will it ever come back? 
Um, I stopped it because I was over it. Uh, I got super busy doing the convention all stars thing. And, uh, as Chris is quickly learning, uh, Myers mask fans are a massive pain in the ass. And Oof. I don't, I don't miss making masks at all. I, I, I'll, I like to sit back and just watch now. Let poor guys like Chris deal with it. Oof. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I love you guys, but fuck, calm the fuck down with the Myers mask stuff. Um, yes, that is a signed, uh, 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 what is it? Strumming, Strumming Skull? Strumming Skull. Yes, that is a signed Derek Riggs print behind me. Yes. Right there. That is awesome. Um, you guys, there's so much. Sky Wolfen 2 sent us money. Gavin Taylor. Oh, oh well, we haven't even. Danielle Harrell also contributed. Jesus, said, yo, you guys, guys are crazy. Big Rolling Stones fan. You guys fans, I met Mick Jagger in 2019 at a rooftop bar in Manhattan. Best day of my life. Mm. Chris? Yeah, I'm a huge Stones fan, man. Yeah, hell I, man. I like the Rolling Stones. I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan. I like them. Mm -hmm. I own some records. I, I celebrate some of their catalog. Right. <clears throat> yeah, they're pretty genius, those guys. I mean, I, they're not my favorite band, but they're, they're genius. I can appreciate... The, the brilliance that they are for sure um the ever scathed chris i recently re-watched the tripper any cool stories about playing reagan yeah we were all drunk pretty much the entire movie everybody on that movie <laughs> so there you go kelly sue sky wolf sky wolf wolf fam two contributed then retracted her message why would you do that kelly sue why would uh -huh. you retract your message cody mike johnson wants to know any realms of possibility on the following guests heather langkamp amanda wiss kim myers or amy Steele. yes i know all four of them so they are are all in the realm of possibility yeah yeah um i like that you're laughing at the tripper stephanie Appreciate that. Um, uh, I saw well, Stephanie to go get you a pizza. Yeah, where's my pizza? Um, <laughs> I'm eating alone. He is. I'm, I was supposed to be having pizza. There's a lot of questions, you guys. Bear with us, man, because this is a lot. This is overwhelming, but awesome. So, Gavin thank you. Taylor contributed. Said, met you gents in my town last year. Happy you made the most of that terrible Red Lion Hotel with some drinking. Hope to see that custom telly or PRS. It was a good time. That was a really good time. What custom telly? Oh, custom you telecaster? were going to order the pizza. No. You're supposed to order the pizza. You didn't tell me that was my job. I thought there was supposed there was going to be pizza here. Apparently, I have to order the pizza, everybody. I can order it. You're not doing you want, anything. Where do you want it from? It's not like you're doing anything. I just got back from the grocery store. She just got back from the grocery store, you guys. <laughs> Text me the kind of pizza you would like, sir. I can order the pizza right here because that's super entertaining, everybody. Yeah. Now, yeah. isn't it? If you guys contribute now, Chris will order the pizza. <laughs> I will. I'm going to order pizza for everybody out there. Just send your address. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a couple questions here, Chris Ruin. You'll be leaving for Australia from 80s Monster Kid. I'm I'm leaving in January. Beginning of January, I will be flying to Sydney, Australia. I'm very will excited. Will you? I will oh. because I, I love Australia. COVID. Maybe not. I will because Australia actually handles their shit properly. And they won't want you. No. Coming from, coming from we the can't, fucking... How we can go as long as I test negative and I work in production. They are accepting negative production people. Cody Hatfield said, hey, Super Chat, here's three bucks for no reason. No, no reason. No reason. All right. Uh -huh. Cheers, Cody. Thanks, Cody. Calm That's down. Awesome. Rich wants to know how your Bride of Frankenstein job is going. Uh, search is going. All right, then. Um, 
Will you guys it's, attend? It's going. I'm working on it. Will you guys attend Monster Palooza next year in May if the convention doesn't get canceled? Hell yeah, we will. Yeah. Holy shit, Dino. What's up, buddy? Four ninety nine. What's he saying, Sean? Oh, I'm still. I haven't gotten to him yet. I got Brandon Gregory just contributed. Said I'm at work, so I can't stay. Love you guys. Oh, also, thanks, bye, Brandon. Brandon. Thanks, hope, buddy. Thanks for. Hopefully, you're an essential worker, and you know that's why you're stuck. Um, oh my, Steel Dragon. Isn't Steel Dragon the band from Rockstar? Remember that movie Rockstar yeah. with Mark yeah. Wahlberg? Isn't that Steel Dragon? I think it was. Here's an interesting story about that movie. I met with the producer that produced that movie. And that movie was supposed to be a lot darker and hardcore than it turned out to be. It was literally supposed to be because it's based on the story of the guy who Blaze Bailey. Yeah. And uh, it was way darker and more hardcore than it turned out to be. And then the, uh, the studio got involved and Mark Wahlberg got involved and Jennifer Aniston got involved. And then it became what it became. I love the idea of that movie. I've always wanted to write a movie based on a guy who becomes an alternate personality to become a rock star a la david bowie or you know like ziggy stardust and yada yada i've always wanted to do that that's like my dream to do that oh have you seen any pictures of the that new bowie biopic that's supposedly i have coming? wow how disappointing is that very disappointing very that's terrible i'm a huge bowie fan and and i was yeah I'd say just watch Velvet Goldmine. You know, it's, that's yeah. a great movie and it's yeah. loosely based on, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Um, let's go through some more of this shit while Sean eats pizza. <laughs> Sorry. I hope you guys aren't hearing me chew a lot. Can you hear me? Yeah, chew? I can hear you. I'm back and I'll go it's back. Really off. entertaining. Chris, what figure is on your back right? Wants to know the little Myers figure, I think. This guy? Yeah. That's the 2018 Myers from One Customs Figures. Uh, that they sent me so graciously. Kelly Sue that contributed, but then retracted her question, said it screwed up. I wanted to know, Sean, what is your favorite Halloween prop that you own? Damn oh. internet. Um, yeah. <clears throat> that's a good question. Um, I probably, I mean, as it count as a prop, the script that Nick gave me, just because that's just damn cool to have Michael Myers' personal script. <laughs> People want me to order the pizza on the show. The Beaker that, orders the pizza. Calm down, Rich. Beaker, you know uh -huh. my cat's name, Beaker? Oh, my God. <laughs> you must be paying attention, buddy. Yeah, Rich. Beaker's going to order the pizza. The pizza is being ordered right now, and I'm going to eat it on the show if we're still here, if we last that long. Because I'm dying for some pizza, and I'm sure everybody else this is This is good pizza, pizza, bro. Okay. I really liking this. All right. Dino Clark hit us with four ninety nine. dollars Uncle Chris Dino. And Sean, you guys rock. Thanks so much for giving us horror fans some enjoyment during the suck convention. That has been 2020. Thank you, guys. Thank oh, you, man. Dino. Yeah, thank you, man. And great last name. You paid him. That's your brother or some shit that you paid. No, no. My, my brother passed away. Thank, oh. Thanks for bringing that up. Great. That's um, awkward. Yeah, yeah. That just got awkward. Uh, calm down, Rich, uh, said Sean, are <laughs> most of your clients on Cameo? Um, only about six or seven. Not too many. I'm not a big fan of the virtual thing, period. Virtual, I mean, <clears throat> I, I kind of have more of the mindset of waiting till conventions, real conventions come back. I think these virtual events are super lame, but, you know, uh, I've, I've helped out a couple of them because that's my job, but it's not something I'm a fan of. 
Um, did you see Frank Riker's uh, contri contribution in question? No, I'm, I'm scrolling down. Hold on. There's a lot of questions. There's a lot oh, of stuff you Well, guys. you missed. Wait, well, I don't see Frank. Oh, there he is. I see. We missed one, though. The Boogeyman is coming. Contributed 499. Said, this one's for Academy Award winning Christopher Nelson. Rank your favorite pizza chains. I guess Sean Ooh. can chime in, too. Now, are you saying chains? I, don't I mean, have, I'm not a chain guy. I don't order chain pizza. I yeah, haven't ordered yeah. chain pizza since I was in my 20s. If I had shit. to order a chain pizza, I'd probably do Papa John's. Really? Only because I like that garlic dip stuff. Fuck. That guy's an asshole. Um, uh, I don't, or oh, he's an I asshole. Didn't... He's Why, like a hardcore Republican, anti-gay fucking... That guy's a hardcore. Well, I, I like Chick-fil-A. You know, I know they don't like the gays, but, you know, that's some good chicken. That's not really. Um, but but pizza, I, I'm not a pizza I love, chain guy. I love the gays. I do, too. And I, I mean, I, I feel shame when I eat the chicken. <laughs> so... Do you really uh, Frank, though? You don't really though. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Frank Riker said, "Sean, what's your favorite Twilight Zone episode?" Mine is mine is Nightcaller, with the lady's fiance calling from the grave. That's a good one. Um, I th I, I think it's it's a good life is 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 my is it's the most disturbing. When I was a little kid, I I think the one that freaked me out the most as a kid though is um, the After Hours. The one she's the mannequin, um, and Chris, how would you update Frankenstein's monster makeup for today's audience and damn and damn kids? You know, I wouldn't. I would leave it alone. I'd let Frankenstein lie in cinema history. Uh, you can't top it. I, I have ideas. I've Let's always had correct. ideas. I've dreamed of ideas of how to do it. But uh, I would just leave it alone, man, and come up with some some new stuff, to be honest with you. And I, I have my idea. I would do it exactly like the book describes it. I would do it like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein described it. And I kind of did design of it uh, and put it on Instagram. But uh, uh, it's not... I think the original Frankenstein's monster is so ingrained in our heads that no matter what is done, you'll never wrap your head around anything else. Unless the script and story is so good that that you couldn't deny it. So um, that that's 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 my two cents if you ask my question. But Jonathan McCullough said, Hey Chris, phone up the pizza shop and prank them live. <laughs> or or better like yet, what? like a like a poop joke or something? Is that what no, you're talking about? You, better yet, you should call that. That, I like how Jimmy Kimmel keeps doing that thing, that 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 Trump's uh, hotline <laughs> is getting flooded right. with prank calls. And whatever you do, don't call this number. And he puts the number on the screen. <laughs> he goes, don't don't call them. Don't don't you know? Don't do that. <clears throat> and apparently, they changed the number. And he posted the new number too. It's pretty funny. Um, Wham is live know. exactly the same time. Yeah, I just want to go online and say. There's a lot of other channels, YouTube horror channels that are going live tonight that, that do are this there? every Friday. Wham goes live, Slash and Cast, I think, goes live. There's a lot of other people that go live. We're not trying to compete. We I'd, just did this because this works for our schedule. So I had no idea anybody was going <laughs> We had no idea. So we're not trying to take it away. Go watch those guys stay here and hang out with us. I don't know. Did Whatever somebody say something about that? Yeah, there's people saying that there's other people going live, and that's okay. Oh. That's all good. Um, oh, cool. Am I in need of a personal assistant, Lindsay? Uh, always. Yes. <laughs> um, How, did either of you see the film The Murder of Nicole Brown Simpson? If yes, what did you think? And fun fact, as I wrote a rec and recorded a song in that film, I did not see it. Is that the one Dan Farron's directed? I 
it may be because I know they did a series, The Murder of Nicole Simpson. It was not an, this is an American movie. crime story. I think I, I think this was a oh okay. So we're not talking about American crime story. I don't believe so, no. Okay. Howling Man that. is a great Twilight Zone episode. I have that I have him right here. Boom. If you can see him, it's kind of dark. Boom. Sean, what's your favorite Michael Myers mask that you've made? That I've made? Apparently. I don't know. I mean, it's all other people's work, you know, so I can't really take credit for, you know, I was using other people's molds. Um, but I think the one that I liked, I really liked the way our part six mask came out. You know, we were using Beekler's molds. So, and you Brad Harden. Yeah. Huh? Nothing. Go ahead please yes dan fran farron's directed the film yeah i have not seen it hey sean do you have any f-13 screen used props um the only friday 13th thing i own is that was Corey. from sorry let me just adam wilson wants to know that uh the only thing i have um from friday 13th any of the films that screen used, I think, is uh, Corey Feldman's fake arm from the from the it's the TV version scene where he cuts his fingers off at the guillotine. Mm -hmm. I have that arm. I got it from Savini. So. Gail Boyle says hiya from Glasgow, Scotland. Gail oh. from Scotland's chiming in on this whole thing. Yeah, we're calling Murdy. Where's Colin Marty? Thank you, Gail, for Where's uh, he at? Poor for lad. getting into this horse shit all the way from Scotland. M M Mr. Zoom said, when are we gonna find out who won the kiss makeup contest? Dude, I've gotten one entry and it wasn't we you. got we got one entry of that, by the way, you guys. <laughs> I'm really disappointed in all you guys because <laughs> Yeah. I thought that would have went over. Like, didn't you, Sean? Like Bro. I thought for sure I thought, that that I thought we had tapped into something big. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, but no, we didn't. Like a fart in church. Anthony, if it's not Scottish, it's crap. Yeah, let's see. Oh, is, oh wait, where'd it go? I, I hate it when I'm moving this thing and something just disappears. Somebody was saying, was crazy. where was it? Somebody just said that. That Chick Fil A turn came around and they started contribute to and cont contribute into. Uh, hold on, where is it? Ah, I can't find. It. Hey, Sean, was Burgess Meredith in the most in the most Twilight Zone episodes? I don't think so. I mean, he was in several, but I don't think he was in them more than anybody else. Doctor Wolfenstein, I, Sean, wants to know, where's the where's the that's Oscar. Oh. Where's the uh, horrors holler ground for uh, Salem's Lot, Sean? Dr. Wolfenstein wants to know. It is in the pages of Whorehound Magazine because I did it as a written article in one of the issues of Whorehound. But I plan on doing a <laughs> video version at some point. I have, I actually have a lot of footage I shot while I was there. So um, I, uh, I could throw something quick and dirty together, but I, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I actually spent all day today editing a little Horrors Hall Grounds bonus episode. I tried to get up before we went live because um, I finally found the alley from Night of the Creeps. So I was going to put it up tonight in honor of Tom Atkins. I might launch it after we end this. So keep an eye out for that. There you go. Um, I'm just reading these at random. So I apologize for everybody. Adam Wilson wants to know, do you guys have a favorite quote from the Burbs? I do. It's called, shut up and paint your goddamn house. That's my favorite quote from the Burbs. Um, so many good ones from that movie. I love that movie so much. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I have a, a favorite line. Sean, will you ever be in Lexington, Kentucky for a future scare fest? Um, very possible. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been there in a while. I did one shit. The last scare fest I was at had to have been like six years ago. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. I had I had people in the show that got canceled. 
but I wasn't going to be there because there was a conflicting show that weekend. Uh, Trans Am Trav uh, is consistently asking me, how did I get the job on Halloween? I've told this story a thousand times, I think. Um, but Trans Am hasn't heard it. I talked to, I ran into Ryan Turek at a, at a party, at a gathering. And uh, he, was asking, he was asking me what I was doing. And I asked him what he was doing. And I said, I have to do that show. And uh, he uh, put me in touch with the powers that be. And I got vetted. And that's how I got the gig. That's the cliff note. Sean, you can do a better, you do a better Trump than me. Yeah, I do. That's a cliff note. Do a Trump. Just do some Trump for me. I got it's got to come like it has to come out. Oh, okay. I I can't just like retell your story as Trump. Sure. Okay. All right. Thanks. (laughs) Uh, Get some more entry in for kids makeup. That means Brad Smith said boneless wings are traditional, hot or mild. Chris, what? I don't like wings. I don't like wings. Oh yeah, you're not a you don't like. Bone. I don't like to eat meat off the bone. Yeah. I just don't like it. I do eat meat, but I don't like eating it off a bone. I don't like off a chicken bone or a, any kind of bone. I don't like bones in my in my so, face. So your answer would be boneless. Boneless. Yeah. So there you. That's go. how I like to eat them. Boneless. Um, hot or mild. Sean, I don't like bones in my face. Mm-hmm. Just in his mouth. Boom. Um, I'm I actually like the bone in <laughs> better, and I like uh like a medium as far as uh hotness. It is Tom Atkins 85th birthday today. So let's oh, let's happy let's, birthday. Let's one drink one for, for Mr. Atkins, the silver fox. Cheers. Cheers to Tom. Hmm. Christopher, what special effects did you do in the film Freaked? Oh, um, I worked for Steve Johnson on that movie and we did the, at the end, towards the end of the movie, when Rick, the Rick monster and can't remember the other character's name, two big monsters, Stewie, Stewie. Rick and Stewie fight each other. They turn into big monsters and they fight each other on stage. Uh, I helped build all those uh, and puppeteered those uh, because they were animatronic faces and everything dress those guys every day and everything did that whole stuff also i seamed and painted all of alex winter's appliances when he was rick monster when he was half rick monster so i did all that stuff painted all that stuff i didn't apply it but i did seem paint it so pre-painted so fun fact yeah coincidence in my brief appearance in the film freaked as an extra i'm wearing a mr bungle shirt what How a coincidence. Like that? Wow, that's really strange. That is strange. Um, shows you how long I've liked them. Uh, Horrors Hollowed Grounds for Return of the Living Dead Part 3. I don't mm. know. Was there really... Any, I don't remember... No, that, that was location. all... That all was set, all, wasn't it? That was all set out in Valencia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that I'll was find the old place. warehouse and just film it. Chris, what effects... Jake Spear wants to know, Chris, what effects did you do in Guardians and Avengers? I do Nebula's makeup. The character of Nebula I've done since Guardians 2. So I did her for Guardians 2, Infinity War, and Endgame. So I I, I do Nebula. And I'm actually going to go do her again, but I'm not going to tell you why. Boop. Anyway. All right. You keep doing her. Um, (laughs) Adam Wilson said, hey, Sean, anything new on the Tony Moran front? Uh, no, no radio silence. I mean, uh, he did do that convention. So maybe he got the COVID and quietly passed away alone and sad by himself somewhere. So I don't know. He might be dead. Um, um Brad Smith wants Sean to do a rant about ball powder as uh, Donald Trump. Ooh, <laughs> I think that's a, that's a con- contribution request. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't got any super chats in the last uh, you know, people stop giving you money, Sean. Yeah, it's like, you know, I don't I don't just fucking throw down Trump on command. Even Chris couldn't get me to do it. Um about ball powder. Shit. Yeah, exactly. Hey, um, is it possible ball. for me to use the restroom? 
I don't know I, how, you know, is everything working in there? I mean, I don't know. Well, I'm going right now. The personal on. question. Okay. I'm going right now. <laughs> okay. You do that while I try to do a go ball on. powder Trump go the, thing. Go into the restroom. Go ahead and go. I am. All right. Uh, hang on. Just check. <laughs> MS right. Michael. Hold Knight. on. I'll be right back. Sean's taking over the show. Sean, All right, guys. This is where we talk shit about shit. Chris. All right. This is where we can talk shit about Chris. All right, everybody. How how annoying is Chris? Right? Anyway. <laughs> it is Dave Vanderhoff. Thanks, brother. And and he contributed too. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, cue the Simon and Garfunkel sound of silence. Anthony Landry, Donnie Boy, could use some ball pounder. Oh, let me tell you, Anthony, okay, like the balls, you know, sometimes they get dry, right? You know, so dry. It's incredible how dry they can get. But if you get the right powder, all right, like, okay, look, you got to have the right powder. You're going to have to know, put it on. I put it on better than anybody. There's nobody that can powder like I powder, okay? All right. Everybody knows. Everybody knows I'm the best powder there is, okay? Whoever this this other guy who may or may not be coming in office, he definitely can't powder as good as me. But, you know, okay, that's all I got to say. There you go. Boom. Thank you. <laughs> what annoys you the most about Chris? <clears throat> let's see the restroom. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sean. That's true. I did do that, Cody, but mind you, that was a test run. I'm professional. That shit wouldn't go down during the show. You know what I'm saying? Cody, come on. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Manscaped is good. Yeah. I, I you know, I, 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 I got lucky and stocked up on a lot of, uh, old school uh, talc before it, you know, it's gone. You love my Donald Pleasant's voice? Just because I think I, I nailed it in that part four episode um, just a couple times when I yelled it out loud. I think I just got lucky, you know, and just got a good a good take. Um, doing very well last night, you know, kind of stuff like that, you know. Um Let's see that clip where you inserted yourself in the Hollywood two hospital scene. <laughs> that was good. I'm so bummed that Scream Factory made me cut that out because I thought it was funny. Yeah, Trump accordion hands. You got to do this. He does this a lot, and then he does this, like the person he's talking to. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, it's the invisible accordion. Um. Yeah, Chris did the better Trump. He walked out. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. How many people were on the bus? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're doing the part four? When it wasn't a bus? Uh, have you seen the flashback? <laughs> okay. Creations galore. Sean, have you seen the flashback mask from Halloween Kills yet? Again, I don't know anything about a flashback mask. I don't know what you're talking about. Nor does Chris. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Everybody stop talking. Okay. He's back. All right. All right. Stop making fun of me, you guys. Nothing. Every Nothing. Everything. Everything's fine here. How are you? A little Han Solo there for you. So cre <sighs> we, creations galore was just asking me if I'd seen the flashback mask yet. We were just getting, we were getting big into that. Um, why did Tony Moran do the shot? I don't know what you're talking Michael. about with the flashback. That's what I keep saying. And not Nick Castle. Um, because Nick's too goddamn sexy. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Because we need Michael to look like a prick. And Nick's too sexy and too nice. Um, Sean, what is it? Hold on. I lost the spot. If, if anyone do the perfect jo Joe Biden, just fall asleep. Hey, here's the deal. All right. No. Um, let's see. I've, I've been working on my Obama, though. Have you? Let's hear that. Gabriel Flores. Did you cover that? Gabriel Flores. Which one? Gave us five bucks. Oh, shit. I missed that one. To, <sighs> to Tangina's monologue as Donald Trump. Who's Tangina? What's that? What's Tangina? Did I don't know. Did you get Anthony know. Landry with five bucks? Danny boy, could you use some ball powder? No. Oh yeah, I did. I did the whole. You missed right. the whole. I'm Trump. not good. I'm oh. glad I I missed the ball powder thing. Thank you. Because it gets dry. It gets really dry, Chris. Oh, Jesus. so dry. That's 
Oh, so I'm gonna try to do my own. See, I'll fuck up my Obama because I, uh, I, I don't want to mess. I don't want to mess it up. I'm perfecting it. I'm working yeah, on. He's it. perfecting it. <laughs> it's true. Anyway, I'll get to it. I'm gonna work on it. I'll break it out eventually because we're probably um, gonna be seeing a lot more of him. Um, have you heard the tracks for kills already? The tracks? What do you mean, like the whatever Carpenter did? Yes, I have. It's good stuff. You guys are gonna like it good stuff there's some cool like 70s slash 80s kind of synth vibe in there i can't say because i signed an nda saying i'm not supposed to talk about the film at all i guess you didn't anyway um i did but i did i gave nothing up you just said it's 70s right now that's gonna be a headline tomorrow on on one of those fucking sites super 70s fake news okay right so 70s chris nelson said it everybody knows it's Everybody knows those seventies. Fake news. Yep. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, How long have we been doing this, you guys? How long have we been going? Right an hour. Now? An hour. That's Is that too? Of, I don't know. You guys tell us. Are you done listening to our horseshit? Well, we- well, they quit asking us questions, and you know they don't want to hear us anymore. There's a lot of questions, you guys. You should see this whole thread going on. It's crazy, and I can't keep up with it. Um, um, yes, Zach. James see. Courtney does kill it as Myers. Literally. Uh, what does this say? Holy crap, there's a lot I'm, of stuff. I'm trying to keep up with these. How do you? I wish there was a way to expand this. Well, Which you could stuff? slow it down. Remember they told us? Oh. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Tremendous. I, yeah, I forgot to say tremendous spike monkey. I'm sorry. Yeah. Tremendous. It's tr- what, very strongly. That's another one he likes to use. <laughs> Yeah, the talc I've been putting on the balls very strongly, putting it on very strongly. Anyway, see, we oh, need blood red skies, two bucks. Thanks. Hey, Chris, you meet Corey in Bordello of Blood. I did meet Corey. Um, oh, Corey does and Chris I have good Bordello of Blood. Stories. I do have good Bordello of Blood stories. Um, I met Corey. Corey and I got along famously. Uh, we hung out a lot uh, for a short bit. I went to his house and played poker one night. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, just the whole show <laughs> was great. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into any dirt, but uh, some good stuff. Can you t- you know? can you tell the the teeth story at least, like a short version of the teeth story? Oh, the Dennis Miller thing. Yeah, because you Dennis- do a good Dennis Miller. When you told the story, I was dying. Because you do it with Dennis Miller. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, okay. I thought so. I don't know. Dennis Miller came up to me at one point and he on Bordello of Blood and he goes, he says, uh, he goes, hey, man, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> it's it basically is. Sammy Davis Jr. is, what, <laughs> yeah. is who he come is. On, come on, come on, kid. Come on. He goes, he goes, hey, man, he goes, my kid's a big vampire fan. And he goes, you make him some fangs, something. Make him, you make him some fangs. And I'm like, sure. All right, so I do the kids teeth cast and make him some fangs and I'm in him like real hardcore like movie fangs. They're caps, you know, they're not the big plastic. They're these little caps that go boop. So I made I made him these fangs, really nice. Uh Dennis Miller keeps coming up to me every day going, "Hey man, where are these fangs? I ordered these fangs a long time ago. Am I going to get these fangs or what?" I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got your fangs. Holy shit. I finish them. I hand them over. And he gets mad at me because they're caps. And he's worried that his kid will swallow and choke on them. He goes, I can't give my kid these, man. He's like, he'll fucking swallow these, choke on these. I'm like, but that's what you asked for. That's what you wanted. You wanted, what are you talking about? He got so mad at me and I got so mad at him. And anyway, I'm not going to. Oh, the next part's the better part. <laughs> he asks you to make more. <laughs> the guy has the nerve to keep asking him. He keeps on, asking me to make more. Those fangs yeah, are you gonna make? Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, it's a. There was a. There's that story kind of fell flat because he decided not to go full. Full. <laughs> I, I didn't full go full it. retard with it. No, he did yeah. not go full retard. I, I didn't. Sorry, um, guys. Uh, okay. Somebody wanted to know if we liked. Um, the sackhead Jason and the remake. 
I actually, I did. I thought they should have stuck with that for the whole movie. And and the Derek Mears sackhead. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it. I thought he looked way cooler than with the hockey mask. Yeah, I agree. That version. I agree. Yeah, yeah. I liked the the sackhead version better than the hockey mask. Uh, my buddy Scott Stoddard did that makeup. Hmm. The, 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 but you the, never even get to see it. No, you don't. And it was really cool, actually. I saw Scott it. A, yeah, Scott did a great job. Yeah. So, uh, well, do uh, did you ever? Did he ever tell you why? Did they ever shoot anything? I've seen the like. The, they did. Yeah. No, they sh- they shot it. They just chose not to reveal it. Kind of similar to uh, Halloween. You know, we on twenty eighteen we shot stuff with with James unmasked. You know, Michael mm-hmm. unmasked, but. You have to be careful how much you show of that stuff because people actually people don't want to really see that kind of want to see it, but not really You kind of like it's kind of like going back to battle of the network stars. When they're in the dunk tank and what's her name gets dunked and you're like, you want to see it, you just don't kind of want to see it. Yeah, I actually I just rewatched 2018 two nights ago because um, one of the girls that works with us visited and stayed three nights at our house and she'd never seen it. And she asked me if I could show it to her. Mm -hmm. So I showed it to her and I hadn't watched it. Shit. I don't think I'd seen it since the premiere. And, um, I think they, they showed him too much with the mask off. I was really shocked. Now, now, you know, I, I I hadn't seen it in so long. I was like, wow, they really show James a lot. Like it's, uh, yeah. It's bit, very it's very blurry and out of focus, yeah. and you don't really. I, maybe it's because I know him so well that I see him when I see him. You I, know? I think that's what it is. Yeah, for maybe. sure. Maybe, but yeah. but I still but, hate the Sartain stuff. God, I know you that, that part is so bad. Everybody, so bad. It. Yeah. Whoa, Dr. Gabe. Hmm? What? Gabe K. O. Okla. Yep. Little four ninety nine from Gabe. Gabe's been throwing down. He's Gabe's been a baller. Down, man. Gabe's a baller. He's, he's a baller. He is. He's not messing around, man. A- answer his question there. Uh Chris, answer would you answer the question, Claire? Answer the question, Claire. Chris, would you rather enjoy an in and out burger with Jack Pierce or Dick Smith and why? Ooh. Wow. That's a tough one. That's a good question, Gabe. It is. Um, I'm gonna say Jack Pierce. Because Jack Pierce died uh, before, I mean, I've obviously never met him, and Jack Pierce has created some of the most iconic stuff. I've uh, Dick Smith, of course. I'm not taking anything away from him. I'm, I've I, I met Dick Smith many times, and he was an amazing guy, super nice and amazing. But Jack Pierce, I mean, because you never met him, I never met him. I mean, yeah. he, he, you know, I'm in the same Jack boat Pierce. with you. Never met Jack Pierce, but I met. Yeah. Dick Smith, and you are correct. Super, super nice. Yeah. Um, oh, we have a question right under uh, that one. Are you both fans of ACDC, and have you heard their new album? I am a fan of ACDC. I am as well. I have heard a couple songs off their new album. I have uh, not. I, I You know... <laughs> this goes back to to me like going back, like I could say this with Kiss, I could say this with Van Halen, I could say this with Aerosmith, I could say this with a lot of bands that there there's a time for these bands where they're so raw and rough and you really get the essence of who these guys are and they're badass. And then after time and age, which is natural, it's kind of same with Metallica as well. You 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 they when you age you become a different person and you lose that you lose that aggressiveness and that rebelliousness and that rawness and that sexiness rock and roll is all about sex yeah and 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 i think when you get older sex changes for you it just does and so i think music becomes a little less sexy and a little more contrived and uh i'm just gonna does that make sense yeah i think I, I, um, the the thing is, is like I don't think ACDC's put out a good album in a long time. And oh, it, a long time. And and it's not, you know, they're trying, but I mean, it's just like yeah. also Brian Wilson or Brian Wilson, Brian Johnson's voice 
it's just gotten to the point where I can't understand a goddamn thing he's saying. I mean, even when he's singing the old <laughs> songs, you see him yeah, in yeah. concert. He's like, <laughs> you know, it's just like, yeah. I, what is he saying? Is he yeah. saying the song? Is, yeah. I know these words. It doesn't sound like it is. <laughs> you know, <Yeah>. but, <laughs> you know <laughs> what? What did you just say? <laughs> um, Blood Red Skies, two bucks. Yo, Sean, can you shout me Anthony out real quick? Anthony! Like that? <laughs> maybe he wants an Anthony. Uh, maybe what? Anthony. Oh, uh, <laughs> Anthony. There you go. Anthony, Anthony? I don't know. I uh, or, or maybe want it real quick, like, like that. That's real quick. That's but, real quick. But thank you, Anthony. Blood Red Skies, we now know his name, is Anthony, I'm assuming. It's Anthony, I'm assuming. Oh, Lawton Howell is in the house. Are you into discs or what? You know it, Cuddy. 11. <laughs> Boom. That's my buddy Lawton. You met him at my Halloween party. Right. From Vegas. Yes. What's up, yeah. buddy? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Lawton, where's the super chat? Throw down, bro. Come on. I know you got, I know you, I know you're loaded. I know you got a fucking hundred right there. Come on. Ready to throw it down. Come on. Sean, would you <laughs> rather do the old in and out with Terry from part two or Chris from part three? Uh, What's that? What? What was that question? I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about uh, Friday two and three. I, if Ter Terry's the girl in the little shorts, right, that he does the slingshot at. Oh, or? yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she wins. One of the best slashed throats I've ever seen in film to this day. Oh, yeah. Is, the way it is, just sprays. Is, is the guy upside down that Carl Fulgen yeah. did. Uh, to this day, it's the best slashed throat I've ever seen. Yeah. And, I've, and, I, and every time I have to slash someone's throat, I that's that's my point of reference. Yeah. Yeah. You have to pick one which do I think is better? Jason goes to hell, Freddy's dead or Halloween 5. I'd go Jason goes to hell. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Yeah. Some really good gags in there even though it's just a hidden rip off. Yeah. I like the hidden. Yeah. Um Sean, did any of your bands tour the East back in the day? No. No. I, we never, we never really, no, we never really toured, toured, unfortunately. Played some places, but yeah, nope. What's your, uh, the ever scathed wants to know what's your favorite Iron Maiden record and your favorite look for Eddie? That's a good question. Oh, that's a good one. Favorite Maiden album for me, peace of mind. Favorite Eddie look, I think I'd go with, um, uh, I'm going classic killers. Mm. I was gonna say killers. Mm. I even like killers as an album, like, but I do like peace of mind. I, I do like peace of mind. I mean, I like that album, but Dickinson's voice is just so much better yeah. than oh, Diana. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. But it's a good album. I mean, yeah. they, they're one of those bands that even their new, their last album was pretty yeah. good. I yeah. mean. No, I love their documentary where the the the, the one where Bruce like Dickinson six, six, is six. flying them everywhere. It's yeah. so good. It's a great documentary. Ooh, if you could be on the set of Halloween '78 or the original Frankenstein, which one? Ooh, I I'd, I'd go Halloween '78. I I'm I'd, going Frankenstein. Oh, well, okay, I won't bump into you then. <laughs> <laughs> Only because Frankenstein, like. James Whale is this flamboyant gay guy who directed the movie. It's all German expressionism. The sets must have been amazing. Frank Pierce creating that makeup for the first time. And I mean, oh my God, like mm -hmm. it, it, there's so much involved in the original Frankenstein. <clears throat> I mean, mind you, Halloween would be great. I'm not taking anything away from that, but I, I, from an art artist standpoint, the the Frankenstein hands down. Yeah. Um, JD Bauer said, if Halloween 2018 is a direct sequel to the original Halloween, how did they explain getting Michael back into the asylum? They didn't. There you go. 
What was the question? Say that again. What? If Halloween 2018 is a direct sequel to the original Halloween, how did they explain getting him back into the asylum? And I just said they didn't in 2018. They didn't. So that was that was my vague answer. They didn't. Uh, well, they did. They they captured him. But they never explained it. They never they never in 2018 they never explained it. No, they didn't. They didn't explain it. He just got captured. Yeah. Maybe you should watch the movies that are coming out soon. So there you go. Um, so Sean is oh no, no, hold on. Let's oh, god dang it. Oh, ro- oh I thought you were going to bed, Mark. Mark just contributed five dollars. <laughs> Trunk impression deserves a donation, bro. Can be cheeky and an autograph from Chris, please. You got Uh-oh. it. Uh yeah, you got to pay the shipping though, bro. He's in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I'll, I'll. You got it. Autograph. Autograph on what, buddy? What do you want me to just sign a piece of paper? What the fuck? Do the impression, man. Give him what he wants. Oh, he's you saying he was throwing it down because I've done the impression. He's saying it. It does. Ah, it, I think he wants you, Trump. No, impression. Trump impression deserves a donation. Okay. All right. Jesus. But I'm not gonna argue with it. I'll do it here. <laughs> Mark, go to bed. Why are you still up? You're going to be super tired tomorrow. So tired. Trust me. I'm the king of tired. I know tired better than anybody. Sleepy Joe don't know tired like I know tired. Um, I don't want to wear that impression out. Everybody's going to be, you know. No, it's good. It's very uh, entertaining. Oh, Blood Red Sky is throwing in another two bucks. Oh, you guys. You guys ever worked worked on... Go ahead. Yes. You yes, I have. You guys ever worked for Full Moon Pictures, Blood Red Skies, two bucks? Yes, I have. I worked on Mandroid, and I worked on Dollman versus Demonic Toys. Classics. And I think I worked on Demonic Toys. The original wow. Demonic Toys, yeah. So He thinks he worked on it. That's how memorable this is. That was a long time ago, and there's a lot of booze and drugs that are. Hey, involved. Adam LeWoo in the house. Come on, hey. Adam. You've heard you've heard me do the Trump before. I'm I, I, I'm I'm pretty sure I've I've done that uh, impression in front of him. I've been working on my Obama. <laughs> I can do a Schwarzenegger. Okay, go for it. <clears throat> I need something to say. I need to talk. Come on, you need to do the Schwarzenegger now. Come on, do not fuck That's around. Too much. I, I go too, full like full. Yeah, over the top, you're going like, too animated. overboard. Everybody goes too overboard. They do yeah. the whole thing with the stuff and the things. And you guys, they yeah. do the whole guys from the Saturday Night Lives and the this and the that. And they don't do that. That's not how it goes. You got to do it. Uh, that's how you do it, man. That's fun. That's, that's how you fun do way. it. You do it like this. You do it. It's very subtle. It's a little, uh, you got to pull it back a little bit. and puts S's on the every on the everything. So that's how you do it. <laughs> That was good. That was good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's see. Um, Adam the Woo. I, we should probably, let's see. Hey, Sean, did you ever see that clip on YouTube, a Halloween fan movie, which never got released with Tony Moran as Michael? He tries to sit up and it's hilariously bad. You would get a good laugh. No, uh, I don't watch fan films, especially if he's in it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but now I'm interested. What's it yeah. called? Um, let's see. Yeah, you're getting some love for your Arnold there. See, oh, I like thanks. the crazy over the top Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, oh, hold on. But you we could do a... that because remember, there's that, uh, there's the uh, the 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 tape of him uh, talking. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna ram my fist through your stomach. <laughs> Uh, Gabriel Flores said, because I'm friends with Adam the Woo, he sent $5. Wow. Adam, wow. stop by more often. Um, let's what see. Kenneth, icon would you cast as Batman? Kenneth Haggerty. What? Yeah. Horror icon is Batman? Um, hmm. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. That's a. That's, uh, Horror icon is Batman. I'm, I'm a pinhead. I think he means an actor, though, not like, would you make Michael Myers Batman? I think he's like a horror icon, like a Sid Haig, Bill Mosley. Really? I think that's what he's asking. Mm. Kurt Russell. 
Oh, that, there you go. There you go. Now that's a good one. I mean, I was thinking like Bill Mosley, you know, as Batman could be. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> man, uh, uh, so uh, I'm Batman. <laughs> yeah, you know that kind of thing. <laughs> Kyle be... wants to know what will it cost to get the Tom Sizemore story out of Chris. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, that's a good story. I wish I could tell that. Story. I don't think you. I don't think you've ever told me. Have I never told you that story? I don't think so. But. Should I tell that story right now? It, it's t- I mean, I don't know what it is, so I can't tell you if it's a good idea or not. <clears throat> Tom Sizemore was on a movie. I did a movie called Stiletto. And it was directed by the guy who wrote Green Book, actually, mm-hmm. um, that won an Academy Award. Anyway, I did a movie called Stiletto. I was an actor, not makeup effects. And I was in a scene with... Tom Sizemore, Tom Berenger. Uh, who's the guy that played Leatherface in the in the Platinum Dunes? Andrew Bernarski. Andrew Bernarski. Um, uh, uh, oh, God, the list goes on. Anyway, there was a bunch of people in this scene. And I played a white supremacist biker guy that was high on drugs and we had just, you know, beat up this girl, or whatever in the scene and stuff. And Tom Sizemore is a, as a guy and, Oh God, I shouldn't tell this story. It's such a terrible thing. Anyway, we were acting and Tom Sizemore kept smacking me in the scene. He kept smacking me out of nowhere in the scene. And I, and, and it jolted me. And I, and I was like, what are you doing? Knock it off. Like, I, I didn't know you were going to do that. And Tom's like, you're an actor. You got to get ready. You know, you have to be ready for this stuff. You have to be able to improv. And I'm like, yeah, but if you're going to smack me that hard, you have to let me know before we do the take. And he kept doing it. And I kept asking him to do it. And he kept doing it. And I warned him after one take, he kept hitting me harder and harder. And I said, if you're going to do that again, you better tell me. Otherwise I'm going to lift you up and I'm going to throw you down on this pool table. There's a pool table there. <laughs> So they yell action. We're doing the take, blah, blah, blah. Tom Sizemore smacks me so hard. It was unbelievable. I lost my shit. I grab Tom Sizemore. I pick him up off the ground. I slam him down onto the, the pool table. And I go like, I reach back and I'm about to punch him. And the stunt coordinator runs in, grabs my arm. ADs come in, they pull him off me and they pull me. We're like going at each other. And that was the take that they used. And the director came in and was like, that was awesome. That was amazing. Thank you so much. (laughs) Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh my God. Now Uh, I want to see Stiletto. It's a terrible movie. Um, Sure it is. And I don't actually, I don't think that scene's in it. I heard that part of this. I, I don't think they used that scene in the movie. I can't remember. But uh, uh, I'm having another piece of pizza. Anyway, that that's kind of the story. I'm leaving a lot out, but that was it. Um, we're getting more happen. super chats. Lewis Cipher says thoughts on Motel Hell. I love Motel Hell. Motel Hell is awesome. I love that movie. It's so weird and so freaky. I saw Motel Hell when I was on drugs, um, and it was awesome, but not like bad drugs. It was, I think, I was smoking pot. But Motel Hell, what are your thoughts, Sean? Go. Love it. Yeah, um, it's a great movie. Yeah, no, it's uh, that's one that'd be. I, you know, I, 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 I don't really. I'm not. I shouldn't encourage remakes, but it, you could do some fun stuff with that. Yeah. But yeah. But I mean, uh, that's, Kenneth that's cool Haggerty one. for two bucks wants to know finally which horror director should make Batman. Hmm. A lot of Batman stuff tonight. Yeah, what's up with all the Batman talk? I don't know about horror director. I would love to see a John Carpenter Batman. I would love to see a David Fincher Batman, even though David Fincher isn't technically Mm. horror. But I would love to see David Fincher do Batman. No, that's a good one. I was going to say James Wan, but David Fincher. David Fincher Batman would be badass. Yeah. I was just thinking of somebody who could handle something that big, and Wan definitely could. Yeah. Um, 
I'm uh, still waiting you. for my pizza, by the way. Dude, I'm 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 going for more, man. That's good stuff. Um, let's see. Christopher was the knife kill in Marion Singh's neck in H18, 100% CGI, or were there some makeup effects? There were makeup effects, yes. Which one is that? Which one is? That's the woman uh, who goes to the window. It's the big long shot yeah. where he walks through the blah, blah, blah. And he comes up behind her. No, th there were makeup effects in that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That was a, a very difficult gag. We we had to, I think I did this on the show. Didn't I talk about this? I don't remember. Another episode. That was a really tough uh, shot. It was all one shot. Um, it ended up being cut into two, but we did do it all in one. Uh, and it was me and Kevin Wozner, who was my key. And Michael walks down the driveway and he gets the hammer and he walks into the house and there's the woman making the sandwich a la Elrod and Kevin, I believe, or was it me? I can't remember. We're standing right there off screen. See the woman get hit, but we had to dress blood and everything and lay her down. So then one of us ran from that house to the other house. I think it was me ran to the other house. Yes. And in the backyards while the camera was going in the front and then it ran into the back of the house. The woman, Marion, who uh, gets stabbed in the neck, had a whole neck appliance on uh, with a bladder underneath a tube going down to her ankle. She had to walk around through that whole shot in the house with the tube taped to her ankle. She walks back. She comes up to the window. Right when she comes up to the window, me and Kevin are right below the window. We had to plug her in real quick and prime the blood. And then he comes up walking back. Boom. We hit the blood. And the but the blade was digital. The blade coming through is digital. Obviously. So hmm. there you go. Red State said killer clowns from outer space filming locations. Funny story. I was going to do that next week. Um, I was going to do Killer Clowns and Lost Boys at the same time. Uh, I was going to leave Tuesday, come back Friday. And just about to book my hotel and everything. And I saw the weather report for uh, Santa Cruz is rain Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I'm going to wait uh, maybe in a couple weeks, try to get out there. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Drum and skull. Five bucks. See it? I, um, are, are you both Stephen yeah, King Strum fans? And do you collect his novels slash books? I am, and yes, I do. I am, and I don't collect them, but I have several, including a couple signed books. I, 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 I went to a, yeah. a, a signing he did in L.A. like 20 years ago. And, and got a book signed. Um, I have a, uh, the stand. I worked on the stand, the TV miniseries back in the day. What year was that? 90s? 90s. I worked on the stand miniseries and I had him sign my stand novel. It's a prized possession of mine, actually. I love Stephen King. Fantastic. Okay. Lot and Hal just contributed... 499 said Sean out of all the people from the OG Fango crew days who is your favorite and why Lot and Hal buddy because he's the only one who fucking who's I will I'm, I'm not just saying that Lot and Hal not because he contributed because I will say something about Lot and yeah. as one of my closest friends he's always supported me on everything I've ever done I mean whether it be a band I was in from my shittiest band to my best band to being on here right now, he's always supported me, and I appreciate that. Uh, in all honesty, not just being a smart ass like I always am, but yeah, kudos to that. Yeah, Blood Red Skies chimed in two bucks. Thank you. You don't have to do this, you guys. Creature from Black Lagoon or Swamp Thing design? Creature, yeah, Creature of the Black Lagoon. Yeah, Hands Swamp down. Thing to this day and seaweed. Come on. To this day, Creature of the Black Lagoon is still an amazing design. You can't top it. 
You That's like can't. saying creature from Black Lagoon or Sigmund from Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. Creature. <laughs> you know? I mean, come on. That's true. That's kind of <clears throat> But yeah. Have you guys ever seen Drew Struzan's Creature of the Black Lagoon poster design? It's amazing. Yeah. And I think you can get a print, but it's amazing. You should see it if you haven't checked it out. Check it out. Drew Struzan, Creature of the Black Lagoon poster design. So. Kenneth. Hergart, Hergart, Hegartly, Hegart, Hegarty said, ever been to Chiller Theater? Saudi duty got wooden balls, man. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Chiller Theater been there like 50 times. This is crazy. You guys are still chiming in. Slowing down now, which is nice. Do you like the movie One Dark Night? You know, I, mm. you know, Tom McLaughlin's a friend. Um, I was disappointed when I saw it in the theater as a teen, uh, mainly because it was PG and I was a little disappointed. It wasn't like a little more hardcore, but I have the DVD. I need to re revisit it. It's been a long time. Mm. Any chance of getting Larry Zerner on the show? We could. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how much he can talk about Shelly, but, uh, you know, he can talk about law stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um Adam Wilson, Chris, since you worked on Sphere and Identity, which which are two movies I love, do you have any fun stories from the set of those movies? Sphere, absolutely. Sphere I was I don't see that question. Adam Wilson said it. Hmm, it's okay. up there a little bit. I'm still behind, I think. Sphere was great. Sphere Sphere, I was uh scuba certified and we shot that up in san francisco and uh on um a naval base and there was these giant uh water tanks and i was we my job every day was basically go to work get my scuba gear get in the tank be in the tank until lunchtime come up change you know have lunch go back down uh, working with Dustin Hoffman and Sam Jackson and Sarah, uh, Sharon Stone and Leah Schreiber. It was amazing. Barry Levinson directed it, who was running out to his trailer to edit Wag the Dog at that time. So he was running back and forth. Um, that was a good time. That was a good, that was a good, uh, it was a good movie. And we did all these puppets and jellyfish and sea snakes and all this crazy shit. And, um, that was the movie that Dustin Hoffman gave me a lecture about quitting smoking, actually. And it was that awesome. paid off. Uh, he's like, thank you, Sean. I <laughs> um, he, uh, he was fucking like, Dustin Hoffman can't, you, can't get you to stop. Yeah, but he was pounding wine the whole time. So, But he's Dustin Hoffman. He can. But he's, yeah. But I'm Chris Nelson. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I just showed uh, Nay Marathon Man the other night. Oh, that movie is so great. I love that movie. One of in my that, favorite movies. In that auction yesterday, they auctioned off the the little bottle of clove leaf bottle, really? the Dremel set, really, and, and the the knife, the the wrist knife. How did it? Really? Yeah. How, how much did it go for? It the wrist knife didn't sell. They were what start, four grand? They were starting at didn't sell, and there was five different blades. It had every blade, like real blade. Oh my like, god. Right, yeah, call profiles in history. They still have it. They'll, they'll I sell it to you. that in a second. I think I can't remember what the Dremel set went for a few grand. I think the bottle went for like two grand. No. Wow. Um, let's see. So, probably... oh, uh, who was it? Oh Sawyer Smoke wanted, wanted to know what was his last name. The artist drew Struzan Struzan. Just Struzan. look up greatest poster artist ever. He's the yeah. guy. S T R U Z I N, I believe, Struzan. Yeah. Yeah. There's a documentary about him. Oh, um, Seven Sin Studios, four ninety nine. Oh shit! Still around. How's it going? He's saying, the classically deceased. You guys are amazing. Yeah. I follow both of you on Insta. A few months ago, Michael Doherty started following me, so I'm curious. What are your thoughts on his films? Trick or treat, Krampus. Are you fans? Huge trick or treat fan. Um, Krampus, I've only seen once, and I saw it as I was getting food poisoning and I was uncomfortable the whole time. I have the Blu ray, 
have not rewatched it, need to rewatch it. Um, but I'm a huge trick or treat fan, seen it a ton of times. Love it. Yeah. I, I, uh, what was the other one that they mentioned? Krampus. Krampus. I liked Krampus. Yeah. I liked Krampus for what it could be. Mm -hmm. I, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. I thought it was well done, but it, I, I felt like it needed something else. But, uh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. No, I'm a fan. Yeah. Reeb Cram said, did you guys know that the Amityville house appears in Jaws? Um, I know that a house that looks like the Amityville house appears in Jaws, but it's not the Amityville house. It's just the house with similar windows. So I'm guessing that's what you're talking about. There you it's go. a very common style on the East Coast. Yeah. Um, I love that you guys are still all up hanging out with us. Still doing this? I say pretty amazing. I say we go to eight o'clock. That'll be a solid two hours. Does that sound good to you? Jesus, that's twenty more minutes. What am I? Oh, are you are you getting tired? Are you getting, getting are you, tired? Are you getting I'm tired. tired? I'm an old man. I'm getting, getting hangry. Where's your pizza, dude? What the fuck, dude? I'm still waiting for it. Where's your pizza, dude? Where's your pizza, dude? Dude, where's your pizza, dude? Dude, dude, dude. 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 Uh, will there be anything with two heads t-shirts ever be made? Because I think the fans need some. Yes. Um, in I fact, keep talking about this. Yeah. Well, uh, I need to con I I've been talking to the guys from gutter garbs about doing them because I want them to be nice and I want them to be professional. Uh, so I just need to make that call. So hopefully soon mm. can we get another live YouTube in the future? Uh, calm down. We're still doing this one. <laughs> um, Ken, Ken Hegarty just threw down two bucks said, which film would you make a haunted house out of which film would you make? A, oh, you mean like a, like a haunt, like a, like a yeah. Halloween Horror Nights. Like kind if of. you, yeah, exactly. Um, which film like one that hasn't been done. There's been some good ones lately. Uh, gosh, I'm, you know, I never saw, I know they did, uh, one universal did one for the thing. Yeah. In in Florida. They didn't do it in LA. Yeah. So I never got to see that. I didn't either. Yeah. And I would I would have liked to have seen that. But uh uh oh, a film Tourist Trap. <laughs> that could be fun with all the mannequins and I think mm. that could be fun. Mm. They haven't done a nightmare on Elm Street one, have they? I'm sure they have. Yeah. Have I? I wow. Know. Wow. Did you just say that? Um, let's see. Uh, Good night, Fox. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he needs his pizza quick. I need my pizza. Um, uh, Sean and Chris, if you guys were to start a band together, what kind of music would you play? It would never work out. I think musically we're into two different. I mean, as far as playing music, I think you and I have way different tastes as far as playing music. <clears throat> wow, I'm really disappointed in that answer. I, I think I don't know. All right, that's cool. I what, what, I would think that two opposites come together and make something new and unique and creative. And so awesome. we, so I'd be like, you just shut Abdul, it down, and you were like, MC shut it down. Cat. Is that right? You're MC Scat Cat. I'm Paul Abdul. That's how yeah. it worked. Mm -hmm. That's a dated yep. reference, kids. How many people got that one? You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, hold on. I'm looking something up here. Uh, sorry. Entertain the people. Read a question. What? I said, well, read. That's a all we're doing. God's sake. Well, I'm. Uh, oh, oh, me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here we go. I'm going to read a question. Uh, nice bungle shirt, Sean. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh. I'm, uh, there's a lot here. Car Carlin Munster sent. $20 via PayPal because she said it wasn't working on here for some reason. <laughs> Thank <laughs> That's you. That's hilarious. Thank yeah. you. You don't have to do that. Chris, since you are a fan of the new wave of British heavy metal, did you like the covers Metallica did on some of those bands? Do you have favorite cover they did? Mine is their cover of Helpless by Diamond Head. That's a good one. I do I like, like Brad Diamond Fan. Head. Brad Adam. Fan's a good cover. Thanks, Adam Wilson. Yeah, I did like all their covers. I thought they were awesome. Yeah. Am, Am I evil? evil? I mean, that that one's you you can't deny that one. So yeah. that's great. Have you guys um, ever stopped by the Frank and Sons collectible show? Yes. 
I have you? not. No. You should go. It's every Wednesday and Saturday. It's like a giant warehouse that's like a, a convention. But it's all just vendors. Right. It's cool. We should go sometime. I'm 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 there. I'm totally down. They got good. So that's where I've that's where I've seen the the one customs dolls. They have them there. Oh, the one's okay. custom. Oh, it's where I got Nay's uh, American Psycho figure. Nice. <clears throat> At some point, I'm going to do an instrumental cover of "Not My Problem" by the Heathens. It's completely going over Chris's head. Yeah, that's totally. my old band. That's the theme song to Horrors Holograms. Oh, yeah, that is over my head. See, yeah, yeah, he's not a fan. See, we couldn't be in a band together. But How see, many scenes see, are James? That's where you and I differ. Where I go, that is the reason why we should do it. See, that's okay. Uh, in H18, how many scenes are James Courtney's stunt double in? I think there's only one, right? The the stair fall into the basement. Isn't that it? In H18? Yeah. Didn't he do everything else? He did everything except for that. Yeah. 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 Here, look at all the knowledge I have, and I wasn't even there. All the knowledge. Sean is full of knowledge. He has all the knowledge. All of it. I got all the best knowledge. All the best knowledge. Big brain. Big brain. Knows everything without even knowing it. Tremendous vocabulary. <laughs> Feel very strongly about the dictionary. Huge book. <laughs> know it all. And yeah, let's see. Um, this is how cool was Freak Show and any stories from Rock Rock Ska 8 Boy? Rock skate boy. Rock oh, that's skate boy. That's my boy Mark from the UK. Ah. Where's, where, where, Chris, where, how where? cool was Freak Show and any stories, dude? That was an awesome se uh, season. It was incredibly hard. Very hot. New Orleans. Tons of makeup. Um, we won Emmys for it, so I'm very proud of that. Won two Emmys for that season. Uh, it was great. I have tons of stories. God, I can go on and on about Freak Show. Like, Sean can go away, and I'll tell all the stories. Go ahead. Tell a story. I'm going to get a water. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, well, you know, when you do a show in New Orleans, there's a lot of drinking involved, and there's a lot of nightlife involved, but also there's a lot of heat involved and humidity. You're dealing with prosthetic makeups. Um, very difficult. Uh, huge cast. Huge cast. Huge, the hugest, huge, uh, but a great, uh, great season. I, I'm, I, you know, you guys keep asking me for dirt and I can't, I can't feed dirt, man. I can't give you too much dirt. You got to read my book. When I write the book, then you'll get all the dirt. Sean, do you have any fond memories from the times you have come to Canada? Yes, for sure. I, I love there's Canada. one. There's one in particular, a story I cannot tell that will. Oh, a story the... you can't tell. Yeah. Oh. I, could, I could tell you one time when no one else is around. Um, but yeah. uh, but I think probably one of the most fondest is when Nay and I visited all the American Psycho locations together and watching her get really stoked about going to locations because she's not a real big movie buff, but that's her favorite. So it was really fun watching her get excited as we had a drink in the bar from American Psycho and stuff. So, Got it. yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, huge. Huge. Uh, <laughs> did James do, what, did James Jude Courtney do the sit up in H18? People are saying it was his stunt double, but whoever done it, it was great as most of the other Holly Myers struggled. I can tell you that answer. That quick setup, stunt double. It was the stunt double. It was really. Yep. Oh, I'm sure we did it with James as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did it both ways. Uh, my guess is it was uh, uh, w w well. When, when you look at it, one because there's two angles of it. There's mm -hmm. the side angle, and then there's looking down the stairs angle. Mm -hmm. One was stunt, one was James. Okay. There you go. Shared contribution. 
Uh, it was. It was. It was Joe it was. Leonard Vo. I'm here by the way of Charlie Benante. I honestly don't know who you dudes are, but I really dig your content. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Charlie's a friend, so uh, I appreciate you watching. We talk metal stuff too. I mean, you metal. Know. We're actually, we might as well talk about a few of the guests we have coming up on the show. Uh, Scott Ian from Anthrax and Mr. Bungle will be coming on to rate the Evil Dead franchise with us. That's right. Um, Also, Piggy D from uh, Rob Zombie's band will be coming on to do a ranking show as well. Um, And uh, also, um, let me see. Who else is coming? Say John Five, maybe or something, or no? I haven't confirmed that, but I don't okay. think it would be that hard to to get since we're good friends. Um, we're we're getting a couple uh, super chats. Uh oh, hit hit the super chat. Oh, Jamie from uh, Twisted is going to do a ranking episode with us as well. Cool. Eventually, uh, Chris Yuhas. Yes, Chris. I know that name. Five bucks. Got a nice uh, picture of, I think, my mask. The Thing or American Werewolf or Best Other. Best practical effects in a horror film. The Thing or American Werewolf or Other. The Thing for me. You know, it's apples and oranges, to be honest with you. They're two different disciplines. Um, both amazing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I love the thing. I, I mean, that shit was a bunch of cocaine fueled ridiculousness. And I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awesome. Uh, we got another one. <clears throat> All right. Blood Red Skies again. Another five bucks. Yeah. Wow. Any famous movie locations that were demolished, moved, or burned down that you despise? That I despise? Are you asking about that? I despise the fact that it was demolished, moved, or burned down. Or, I mean, that that's a kind of. I, I think I'm that's assu- what he, I I'm think gonna that's assume what he. that's what you're saying. Um, the one that bothers me the most because I never got to go see it would be the cabin from uh, Friday Thirteenth Part Three. That some homeless dude, you know, burnt it down by probably starting a fire to keep warm uh, out on that movie ranch. Uh, that bothers me. Another one that that got burned down, not burned down, but but torn down, is the 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 house from Friday Part Two. I never got to see that either. Mm. So that that's kind of a bummer. What are you laughing about? I'm laughing at Jonathan McCullough. As Chris, is your pizza getting delivered from Italy? <laughs> that's a good one. Nice one. Nice one. That's a good nice one. one. Okay, we got to answer this. Guy has posted this like eight times. What? Jake Spear, Battle Royale, who would win? Freddy versus Jason versus Michael versus Pinhead. Uh, um I gotta always go with Michael. I mean, that that's my allegiances to the, the shape. Uh, well, what are we talking about? Are we doing a, a Valentine love letter or are we doing what in reality if those guys existed? Because uh, if you're saying who do I love the most, is that the real question? I mean, in reality, Freddy would probably win. Cause Between who? Freddy, Jason, and Michael? Michael and Pinhead. I mean, because Freddy's got the Jason. whole... Jason. Jason takes... Jason would kill everybody. Yeah, but but you could just chop Jason up. Yeah, Freddy, you can chop anybody Freddy can get in his dreams and kill him. He can he kill can, him. Oh, his... God. Here we go. That's what I'm saying. I'm we used to make that joke on Halloween 2018, Kevin and I, Kevin mm-hmm. Wozner and I used to sit there and every time we were watching a scene with Michael Myers doing something on 2018, we go, I don't understand why he just doesn't go into their dreams and kill them. <laughs> I th- Nobody got that joke. Anyway. Um, so <laughs> Vanessa said, Sawyer Smoke has a really good question. Is it the what location? What's a location that you've really wanted to visit but doesn't phys- physically exist anymore? I just named a couple because it was like the same question. Um, so that's one. Uh, you know what? Actually, here's the one. Here's actually one just came to mind that I visited as a little kid but and only have vague memories of. 
but I wish I could go back to now would be Sherman Oaks Galleria when it was like it was in the Ridgemont Mall, Chopping Mall, Commando. Um, I would love to be able to go have a slice at Perry's Pizza in the original Sherman yeah. Oaks Galleria. Yeah. Well, that's long gone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know where a Perry's Pizza still is, and it's been around oh, since the 80s. I love Perry's Pizza. Really? I used to go to Perry's Pizza all the time in Delamo Mall. Oh yeah, they have the square slices all the time. They used to have a favorite thing. They had a Perry's Pizza in Buena Park Mall too. They used to. Mm -hmm. But if you ever want to go to a Perry's, next time you're down my way, there's one in Orange County. We're doing that. We're doing that because I love Perry's Pizza. I used to go to Delamo Mall in Torrance, and uh, I actually used to see Quentin Tarantino there a lot because he used to live in near manhattan beach he worked at a video store before he became who he was and there was a ua cinema united artist cinema where you could go upstairs and smoke (laughs) while watching the movie but it was awesome uh but they had a perry's pizza and they had a caramel corn next door Mm. remember caramel corn wasn't Mm -hmm. it caramel corn what was the joint with the box with the red red and white stripes and you can get caramel corn and the licorice it was next to all the movie theaters back in the day 70s and 80s it's called caramel corn i think you're right i'm not sure yeah anyway never mind uh let's see Uh, let's get back to the peoples uh jonathan mccullough my bloody valentine 1981 or black christmas 1974 what is the better canadian slasher in your opinion well i mean Black Christmas is probably the better movie, but I have more of a fondness for My Bloody Valentine. Because hmm. um, Black Black Christmas is technically probably scarier, influenced films like Halloween, right. where you know My Bloody Valentine. I just like My Bloody Valentine. I have a, a soft spot for it. Yeah, I like them both. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to choose. I'm not going to choose. I like them both. Uh, let's see. Uh, because the guy that wrote Black Christmas is the guy that wrote My Bodyguard Christmas Story. Yeah. And My Bodyguard. And My Bodyguard, which I loved. Yeah. I loved uh, all those movies. That guy was Alan amazing. Ormsby. Yeah. Amazing. Yep. Who also was the star of Children Shouldn't Play with Dead Things. Oh, so good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I was going to ask if the show was going to end with COVID, but it looks like COVID isn't going away. EPG 74. Oh, you mean us stop doing this show? Um, Yeah. I mean, we're going to, it might. (laughs) (laughs) What, when we get busy, it might. Yeah. What I could see happening is this show becoming a once a month thing. Um, Yeah. Yeah. But I don't think we would stop doing it. You know, I mean, we're just going to have to, It'll be a lot harder to coordinate. Yeah. It just, it won't be so frequent. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be. Did we get all the super chats? Did we get Gabe K. Ocala with the, please, can we get a horror's hologram with Chris Robert Rustler doing that? I missed a few. Shit. I missed a few. Yeah. You missed them. Somehow my thing skipped ahead. I missed. I'm I'm catching them up. Okay. Anthony Landry. Let's go back. Uh, Let's cover those. Sorry, guys. Anthony Landry says things should pick uh shutter should pick up a thing with two heads. Agree. I I agree. Um Gabe yeah. says, can we please get a horse hollow ground with you, Chris, and Robert Rustler doing the nightmare two locations? I I I I commit to nothing when it comes to the nightmare two. Boom. Uh <laughs> 80s horror fan says, Hey man, I'm drunk. <laughs> I just have to say that Horror Hollow Grounds you did for season nine was awesome. Session nine. Oh, session nine. Sorry, session nine. Yeah, that's actually my favorite episode, the session nine oh, episode. Good. Session nine. Thank you. Appreciate uh, it. And then I think that's it. I covered it. Okay. Any favorite scenes from Fast Times, Sean or Chris? <laughs> oh, my God. Every scene. Every scene. That movie is genius. Yeah. Favorite scene is Phoebe Kate's scene, but. Well, you know, well, I'm going to try not to be a perv for a second. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, that Mr. movie is just en- endlessly quotable. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I really love the, uh, the Hamilton. Get over here. <laughs> You're taking off your Captain <laughs> Hook uniform. One. Yeah. 
uh, yeah, I was going to take it off for the ride over to IBM. You know, the, the, the uniform can be a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I just love that whole thing. I have a little pride. I met that guy. I went Actually, to a screening. Pride. I went to a screening of Fast Times at the Arclight. Yeah. This is like yeah. 15 years ago. And met, I met Amy Heckerling. I'm t- even Taylor Negrom was there. It was great. And the guy who was his boss, the, the you know, have a little pride guy. Yeah. He was there. I got him to sign my poster. That's a rare autograph. <laughs> yeah, that is a rare, rare. I saw him at a party. I went to a friend of mine's party and he was there. And I was like, that's the but, fucking guy. That guy <laughs> like, was there? Like, what? Yeah, he was there. That's awesome. That guy. And also I went to another party where the twins were that were ordering the food where oh, they go, shit. have you ever heard the word blemish? Like that, that those two guys. something deep fried? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get out. This place is terrible. Let's go. God, this place is terrible. I um, just finally I, found that location. I'm I I'm working on a movie. Fast Times episode right now. Oh, so, I love so that you know. movie so bad. I watch it constantly and I love it. But um, let's cover this because uh, we're going to oh. wind down here soon. Yeah, we are going to wind down. We're going to wind down, guys. Bob Clark. Yeah, it's Jonathan McCullough. Bob Clark. Bob Clark. He's, no E. No E, Jonathan McCullough. He spells it proper like I spell it. Um, I met Bob Clark at a screening of Christmas Story. Super oh. nice guy. Got him to sign my Christmas Story poster and my Porky's poster. Fuck yeah. Okay. TCE author says, is this episode going to end with Chris finally getting pizza? I don't know if I can, you know, can leave with that loose thread dangling. <laughs> we shouldn't. <laughs> Me we shouldn't. neither. Dude, we shouldn't. And when, you, when your pizza's handed to you, that's when we end. Okay. All right. Really? Because... Fuck me. What's taking so long with your pizza? Well, you know, it got ordered and it said it was going to be an hour. And that was like a little over an hour ago. And I'm wondering, well, it should, be any second. should I go check on it? Well, I'm, is, is she not watching? Great first live <laughs> show, guys, says Calm Down Rich. Can we get a boogie, sorry, boogeyman Ben jingle? Boogeyman the- Ben coming around the band is boogeyman Ben. Is Boogie Man Ben hanging out with the thing with two heads? Is Boogie Man Ben? Wow, Boogie Man Ben. There you go. Oh. Um, you went fifties. You oh, went fifties. Yeah. went because when I hear Boogie, you went Motown. I think I think do 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 do. That's what I think when I'm thinking Grease or when I hear Boogie Man Ben. Right. I don't know. I'm thinking like Motown, Necromantics. Was... Um. Yeah. Oh shit! We got some super ch- a super chat from Seven Sin Studios. I'm out, guys. Cool hanging out. Thank you, sir. If you guys want a good uh, conversion, a nice good rehaul on your 2018, Seven Sin Studios is a yeah. guy to talk to. Good shit. That's right. He's um, the guy. Thank you so is much. Stephanie, is Stephanie there? Why don't you be like, Stephanie, pizza, ma, pizza. You know? Ma! <laughs> uh, they loaf. Jonathan McCullough says we're all here to just watch Christopher eat pizza. Dude, you and me both, man. Dude, I'm about to break. I got two slices left. I'm ready to break into another. I'm losing my shit. I got to have some pizza because I'm losing my Oh, my God. <coughs> Look at that. There we are. We can end oh. the show now. <laughs> if I had known it was my job to order the pizza, I would have done it before you even started. I don't know why you didn't order at the beginning of your show. Like I did. Now I look like the asshole. No, you don't. Stop it. Okay, look what I got, you guys. All right, kids. All right, I got my pizza. Now we can end the show. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming. I'm going to go eat my pizza. We love you guys. And just so you know, I'm sorry, I made you this. Mm -mm. So, our next episode... Uh, is basically a catch-up episode because we got really behind on questions. So we did a, pretty much a solid two hours of just answering questions and talking about nonsense. So the next episode isn't going to have a guest. It's going to be just two old guys talking nonsense and answering questions, kind of like it was tonight. Yeah, pretty much um, like it is every week. And then we'll get back to the guests soon after. So expect the new episode to probably drop on Monday. All right. Thank you all. We love you. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. I hope you had fun. 
I'm sorry if we didn't get to everybody's questions and, and comments. Um, we got uh, I, I got overwhelmed with everything. So thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And thanks for <laughs> hanging out. And we'll do it again. And um, and hopefully we'll get to yours. And we love you guys. You see Dylan, you son of a bitch, said, wow, that lady sounds like Annie from 78 Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That guy wins. That guy wins today. That guy wins. All right, guys. But thank uh, you, guys. Love you. Happy Friday 13th. Night. Good night.